hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is my review for Saints and Sinners Season 4, Episode 3. Okay? If y'all can hear wind blowing, it's my fan. It's on because it's hot. <laughs> it's hot and I, I cut my air conditioner off because it was freezing cold. And so my apartment's like cooling off. And I'm like, I'll just cut my fan off right now because my air conditioner was on for like three days. Because it's been crazy. Anyway, if you have not done so already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and become a whole J-Bird. J-Bird. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and all that good shit. Um, I'm cut, girl, let me cut some. No, this is a great show. It's okay. Do not forget to like this video. Liking the video really, 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 really helps. So... If I have a thousand views, I would love to have a thousand likes. So please hit the like video. It does help us. Thank you very much. Okay. Do not forget to also share the video. Okay. And to always, always, always put a comment below. Even if you just say, hey, Jay Lee, I'll say hey back. I'll love it or like it or something like that. You know, do some things. Let's say, communicate with a sister. Okay. But let's get into this review. So we see Ella at home talking to Rex and everything, but she also was on the phone like, sell it all. The house, the car, the dogs, sell it all. Okay, and she's really sent to sell all her mama stuff. Okay, all her mama stuff because, oh, y'all, this is my napkin and my thing. I don't think I'm going crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she wants to sell all her mom stuff to try to buy back the church. Okay, because Felicia said, you know what? You can have a church for a certain amount of money. And so Ella wanted to sell all her mom stuff to have that money. Now Rex is also there to show that he won like the bid to be the security people or whatever for the casino that they're secretly building. Okay. Well not secretly. It's more like the people don't know yet, but it's coming. Okay. So at that same time, they cut the TV on and on the news is Samantha. I think her name is Samantha. News Lady Samantha, what I'm gonna call her. And she only like she only like, you know, the mayor's rumored boo. Hit the mayor's rumored sugar daddy or the mayor's uh, rumored boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, is supposedly running the casino project. You know what I'm saying? I won't rest until I get to the bottom of this mess. And Ella's upset and you know Calm down, Elamators. Calm down. You know what I'm saying? Let me help. Don't do nothing, Rex. Sit your ass down somewhere and be quiet. I'm like, are you sure, Ella? Because sometimes Rex helps. I mean, sometimes he don't because he didn't get that, that feather and the bullet up from St. Charles' body. But I digress. We ain't going to talk about that right now. We then see a couple things happening between Tam, Josie, Christy, uh, um, miles and everything so we do see tam on the phone chit chatting with somebody and josie is sitting there waiting for her to come sit down for lunch girl i see you and miles but you're doing better she's like girl i'm not talking to miles i'm talking to malik who the fuck is malik where malik come from he's a friend he's a nice little man or whatever his mama was also locked up in the, in the psych ward or whatnot so we've been chit chatting with him. he's been helping me oh you're a lawyer no, girl, he just, you know, he just a little manly little friend, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like him. I like him a lot. Oh, well, okay, well, what about you and Miles? Are y'all getting, like, divorced or something? Well, you know, we have been having a loveless marriage for a year. If your marriage been loveless for a year, it ain't a marriage, okay? Not a loveless marriage for a year? I mean, a month, oh, okay, a year? Girl, y'all roommates. Y'all ain't married no more. Anyway... So, you know, she brings about, you know, and she think about it, maybe we should, like, you know what I'm saying, walk toward the world. Because, again, it's been marriage and lovelessness for a whole year. Now, you know, we then see they leave the little place and get their lunch. And before they left, though, she bring up how Miles wants her to forgive Christy. Okay, because Joe is like, I heard Christy got, you know, mm-hmm, and Miles want me to forgive her. And that ain't going to happen. Not on not on my watch. Now my damn money ain't gonna happen. But when they leave the little restaurant or whatever and they go back to Josie's bar, they see Chrissy walking up to Miles' apartment. And I'm like, Lord, what is going on around here? Okay. And so, of course, you know what I'm saying? She knock, knock, knock on the door and Miles at a ring. Like, oh, hey, what's up? What you, what you doing here? So she went in there, but maybe two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine seconds, and here comes him. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, what that door? And she come in, 
get me my baby. Look, I don't care what whores you mess with or deal with because it has never stopped you before, okay? But don't you ever have her around my son again. And then she just leaves. I'm like, what well, the hell, Sam? Come in like a Tasmanian devil, okay? But I get it. That lady stole your baby, okay? But at the same time, Chrissy wasn't in the right mind. So I get you don't want your child around a baby kidnapper. You know, that's a hard pill to swallow. But girl, you know, you know Miles ain't gonna put that baby in harm's way. And technically, I don't think he planned to see Chrissy. I think Chrissy has just popped up is what I thought when I saw that part. So... We do see Miles and Chrissy, Chrissy talking. She did pop up. And she said, I just, I don't want to cause no trouble. I just came to thank you for going and talking on my behalf and kind of helping me get out of prison because I did some bad things. And I did some, some, some bad, bad things. He's like, look, everybody deserves a second chance, even you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you, Miles. And she kind of touched his hand. He was like, oh, you know, I just want to be the best f husband and father I can be. And you a great father, shitty husband, but a great father. And I said, well, I guess so. So we then see Malik and Jabari talking, have a little conversation. I still think Jabari's haircut is stupid. Okay, I think it makes him look weird. He needs a little bit more hair. Now, if he's just going bald and that's what he can grow on his own head, I get that. But if that was like a, 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 a production decision or a director decision, anybody decision, decision besides Jesus Christ who helps the person's hair grow, I mean, if you can grow it back, grow some back. Can't grow some back. It's just, it just, it made, his head is, it, girl, I just don't know. Anyway, it makes his hair look bigger. Yeah, it, it, it makes his head look, and I have a big head. You know, I have a really, really big head. I, I know that about myself. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, I was just like, why is he, he should grow some hair back if he can. Now, if he can't, he's still okay. He's still cute. I would date him. But you know what I'm saying? I would date him to shave it all off, baby. You know what I'm saying? Leave it, get it all off there. Like, don't leave it like a little light skin in this um, of, of hair. You know, don't do that. Anyway, I'm going to go off on a little tangent. So, you know, Malik is talking to Jabari because Jabari is trying to convince Malik to give Rex back his properties or whatever. And Malik don't want to. And Malik is like, you should not trust Rex. You know, he he in out of pocket or whatever. And you crazy if you don't think that Rex knew what Ella was planning against you and your wife, okay? I'm telling you, he knew. He had to know. He all up in Ella's ass. And then, you like, look, no, that ain't how Rex, I know Rex. Rex is the kind of person he would stab you in your chest, okay? Face to face before he tried to stab you in the back, okay? That ain't what he do. So I believe that he didn't know because he would have came to me and told me. He wouldn't do me like that. Okay, you can't do this to me is what he would have said to Rex, but he like, I don't believe it or whatever, so Malik said, you know, okay, since you're my brother and you believe Rex ain't had to do with it, I'll give him back or sell him back his properties or whatever, but don't say, I did not warn you about Rex's ass. I said, okay, so we then see Felicia, you know, who played by Tammy Roman, she pop in like, oh, we need to talk, Malik. So, the board, you know, is just not happy about some things. And, you know, they're not happy about this whole year-long stalling of our headquarters. Our headquarters should not be stalled out in a little town like this for a year. So, you know, something has to be done. And he's like, what? So, what the fuck you mean? And we see them all in the meeting, okay? He's the whole board. And Malik looks upset because, as Felicia said, who all approves to unload the property of New Hope Baptist Choice Church? Say I and all oh, unanimous. I. Anyone opposed? Say nay. There are no horses. No one said nay. And Malik just looks pissed off, okay? Like he is pissed off to the highest point of what? Pistivity, honey. Pistivity. T and it's agreed upon that they will let the church go to Ella. Well, they didn't say to Ella, but we know that's what Felicia's planning. Now we then see, you know, news lady Samantha talking to Angela because Angela asked her to get her the autopsy or or the what's it the autopsy report the, the death certificate the information on page on page is death. But she's like, before I give this to you, I need something from you. You have to get me a interview. With Ella. She's like, girl, that ain't gonna happen. Ella's not gonna talk to you. Well, then you can have this 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 folder. You can't have these records. But um, Ella kind of takes them. Well, you taking them means you, I'm gonna see Ella on my show, okay? And once uh, she looks, she's like, ain't no, it's, there's no death certificate in here. 
well, that ain't my fault. I'm like, well, bitch, I asked you for something specific. Why ain't it in here? I didn't say give me all the other paperwork. I said I want this. Okay, but that was not there. And then Samantha's like, well, you're back. Gotta go. So, from there, um, she goes to see Ella. Angela does. Not Angela. Yeah, Angela. And she's like, I have to figure out a way to get Angela, girl, fix it. Angela figures out that she has to figure out a way to get Ella to do Samantha's show. And so when she goes, Ella says, hey, I can't, I haven't found out who her source is. It seems that everybody want to keep their sources a secret or whatever. But I got an idea what you should do. You know, all these questions and concerns have been trending on social media. So I feel like you should go do her show. You know, show everyone what you're trying to do and how you're a stand-up person or whatever. And how you have this great vision for the city. Like, let them hear from you directly. Like, go face to face first. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. That might be a good idea. I think I may do that, Ella. Live TV is never the thing to do when you're crooked. Because someone's going to ask you a crooked-ass question, and you're going to be lying and going to catch you in that damn laugh, live on television. So, from there, we see Angela. She goes to see Jabari. Now, Jabari, you know, is still dealing with Paige's death, but he's packing up some of her stuff. Um, because, again, it's been a year since she passed away. And Angela coming over, I guess, just to help. So, she kind of was like, you know, well, hey... Because she see Jabari was like, you know, he was in his feelings or whatever. She's like, you know, you may feel better if you, if you talk about something. Like, you know, how did Paige die? Like, what did she die? I'm like, bitch, what you mean? What you, what you talking about? And he's like, well, you know what she died? You know, because her, her organ shut down when her body would not, when her body rejected the blood transfusion. So, oh, okay. And, you know, so that's what the, the autopsy said. He's like, well, I don't know. That's what they told me. It said, like, I didn't read Death, the death certificate or I didn't read the report or whatever. I didn't want to read any of that. Also, did you like, did you see it? Like, do you even have a copy of it? And he's like, well, yeah, it's already somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I have it, but I, have, I, I, I never read it. Oh, okay. So I'm like, okay, so she probably thinking, I'm going to be up in this house. I'm going to find my goddamn stuff and see what's in it. Okay, because you should know what it is. But I'm not giving you half of these. Let me stop. Anyway, so... He then, he going somewhere else. He was leaving to go down there and see Ella live on the thing thing. Um, but, um, when he leaves the house, he leaves Jabari, no, Jabari leaves Malik and Angela there packing up, we're well, packing up a of stuff. But, you know, she nosy. She real nosy. And when he walked away, Malik, his phone was ringing or buzzing, like, you know, a little message or whatever. So she like, And starts reading it. And as she just has it in her hand, Malik walks back in. And he's, she's like, oh, I just, it just, it went off and I just picked it up. She's like, do me a favor. If something ain't yours, don't touch it. Okay? Matter of fact, we done here. Let's go. Mm, okay, mm, let's go. Just, let's, let's, let's just leave. Oh, I didn't mean to. It's okay. But remember, if it ain't yours, don't touch it. Okay? And then they leave. When she follows him to some, some building what an address because the text said the patient is responding well to the treatment. Okay. I'm like, what if the patient what if the patient is um well what's his name? The dude who they said the page killed last episode. Well what if it's him? I'm trying to figure out because they keep saying he may come back, but I don't know. Anyway, so we see that happen or whatever. Um, so, but she see where he go, this building he goes into, and she just writes down the address because it doesn't say like, oh, this is a bit like it's just like an address to a building. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we then see Ella goes to meet with Felicia because again, Ella trying to get his money to buy back the church, and then you know, but she didn't know this because Felicia didn't say, yeah, you know, as soon as you get the money for the church or whatever, we'll be good. Like, I, we, we can do this, we can do that. But in the meantime, in between time, I need you to work on them, them, them project uh, contracts getting signed so that we can get started on our headquarters. She's like, wait, what? Well, yeah, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. And I'm like, mm hmm. Felicia didn't mention I will send you back your church if you do this for me. Okay. And now Ella realized, oh, she didn't do this to, she didn't do this to get, like, get on my side. She wanted something out the deal. And I'm like, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm like, mm -hmm, bitch, bitch, use me. And that outfit, don't look flattering on you. Don't wear that. And then she leaves. And Felicia was just like, 
what I do? You know what I'm saying? But I get, you know, you didn't tell me it was scratch my back, I scratch yours. You better seem like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do this because I need you later. Later just came sooner. Very, very soon. Soon and very soon. We are going to stop. Okay. Okay. Girl, the sounds popping up and talking. So we then see Kendrick and Chrissy having a conversation. You know, they're siblings, you know, hanging out or whatever. And she's like, you know, I was never able to thank you for coming to see me in prison. Like, your your visits when I was in prison really, really helped me and helped the time go by quickly or whatever. So, thank you. He's like, sister, that is what family is for, okay? That's what we do. Or if we are siblings or whatever. I said, well, that's true. I think if my siblings locked up, I would absolutely go visit them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as long as it's close. I mean, I'm not driving like hours and hours to go see them. But I will talk to you all the time. I'll put all the money on your books, okay? But I'm not going to see nobody who is more than a 30 mile, maybe an hour drive. I ain't got more than an hour, even for a sibling. Mm -mm. No. I will talk to you all day. You know, we can do a little J-Pay stuff or whatnot, but I'm not going to visit stuff. They pray was in the same city. That's fine. Anyway, they at the house, and they're packing up stuff for the estate stuff because, as we know, they're trying to sell everything to get this money, okay? And as they're packing up stuff, um, Kendrick is, like, moving suits and clothes and stuff around, and he see a little jacket with some feathers on it. And y'all know the last episode, he got them feathers and them, them, feathers and them bullets, okay? Or, sh or shell case. And some look like, hmm. But I'm like, Ella didn't have on that jacket. She had on gloves with, um... With, I thought it was gloves with feathers, but maybe she had on gloves and then a jacket with feathers around the, the wrist. I'm not sure now, but I'm thinking maybe it was that coat. He like, it's his mom's coat. And she's like, I think it's grandma's coat. He's like, I, 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 I went to go see, you know, St. Charles, you know, right after he died or whatever. Like two days, he was in the body, he was, in, he was still in there or whatever. What, Kend what Kendrick, oh, what happened? He like, you know, man was working on the case or whatever. So I got there and he was there and nobody knew yet. And he like, on the ground, it was feathers just like these. And she was like, you don't think. Because grandma, Lady Bird is in the, is in the crazy house or whatever. Mm, we, we, but Lady Bird, this is a crazy killer Lady Bird. She can do anything, okay? Anything. So now they don't think that Ella did it. They thinking Lady Bird some kind of way got, got up out that hospital. And I'm like, she ain't girl. What do you know? It's your mama. Your mama brought your grandma top and murdered somebody. Okay, it was Ella. Ella me. Anyway, so we do see um, Chrissy, like, you know, again, she locked up and can't be her. He like, you know, we talking about killer Lady Bird, okay? Bird and a Midnight Falcon. She is definitely a falcon. She got out of killing people. So we see two different things happen. At the estate sale, you know, people all in the house looking through, shifting through buying whatever and this guy was like oh it's these books and journals for sale too she was like what and she looked in this old journals from her granddaddy you know what I'm saying back in the day she was like um no no not these so she got like his journals his old bibles but left the encyclopedias I'm like you know what I'm saying is what it is and she's like I should keep this stuff whatever now we do see her later on read through one of the journals like she was reading reading and she was like oh Oh my, oh my lord, oh my lanta. So she saw something. We don't know what yet, but it was something, okay? I mean, was it prostitution she saw? Was it the date of birth that she saw? What did she see that was so shocking, okay? We then see Kendrick. Kendrick has went down to the crazy house to see Lady Bird and the Midnight Falcons. And, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm here to see my grandma or whatever. Because we, we family. She's like, oh. Hold on one second. Now she goes to the back, whatever, and come back. She come back with a security guard. She's not having visitors right now, and I think you should leave. He like what? I'm family. She can't have visitors. You should leave. And then she says for she signals for the uh, security dude to like escort him out. He like ain't this about a bitch? How she know what's going on here? Now I'm like that's gonna make him feel like oh she be getting out okay, and they be covering her because she's Lady Bird and the Midnight Falcons, but we don't know. What's going on? I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Lady Bird, what are you up to, girl? We don't know. We then see Felicia go to talk to Malik because she is pissed. You petty motherfucking asshole, bitch. I added some words into that. Anyway, well, she do all them petty, petty and stupid or whatever. Basically because one of the females on the board 
he fired. Are you fucking crazy, okay? They are, she's going to sue us, okay? The lawsuits is going to come for this. You are so petty and stupid. He's like, calm your ass down, okay? She not going to sue nobody, okay? Because she sued us. Her husband found out that she's out here sleeping with people in the company or a client. And she don't want that, so ain't nothing going to happen or whatever. I enforced our morality clause. And she was like, oh, all of a sudden... That's what you want to do? And he's like, you know, why not now? You know, but thank God we didn't enforce it on you. I said, well, Malik probably on you too. Who knows? So she upset because it was somebody who was always on her side, okay, on her team, and she didn't see it coming. So that's why, you know, you old petty, stupid mother. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm like, well, it looked like y'all should start enforcing the morality, the morality clause on everybody. Okay? She was pissed off to the highest point of pissed tea, okay? But I was like, girl... No, don't do it. Anyway, so from there, um, Miles. Miles goes to see Tam because last we saw, Tam was at his house snatching the baby out the house. Okay? And he walk in the old, the old house and she's like, what is you doing here? It's my house too, Tam. Okay? And I'm here to see my son. It's not your day, uh, Miles. But yesterday was, and you came up there and snatched him out by my house. Okay? I'm tired of this shit. Well, you had him around that old whack ass, babies on ass. He's like, I'm tired of this shit. I said, oh shit. He he raised he raised his whole voice, okay? Because Josie was sitting there. He's like, you know what? I'm going to give y'all a minute. And she took the baby and left. Because he, I think he's tired of her blaming him for what happened, for one. <coughs> and two, making him feel like he a bad father. Or whatever, cause he then tell her like you like you like look, I know I have to prove myself as your husband, but you can't be up here act like I'm a bad father and like I will let somebody hurt my child. I'm gonna protect him with all the fiber in my being. Okay, he is my son. Okay, but I need you to know, me and Chrissy that we did not plan that. She just popped up to say thank you. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, I told you I want my family back. Damn it. Okay, and she looking like. Because she like Malik. And he don't know that yet. So I can't wait for that part to come out. So we do see... Ro Who was Rose? Lord Jesus. Ella. Ella trying to leave the house to get her interview. But her phone was ringing. All this stuff was like one, one, one thing happening. And she was trying to walk out the door. The phone was ringing. I ain't got time for that. Rest call. I ain't got time. I gotta go. Go, go, go. Then White Man Leonard. Well, I think White Man Leonard is like her accountant or whatever. Or he do. He's the money person who comes to tell her when she can't afford something. When she can't afford nothing. So he come over. Like, hey, here's some financial news. You know what I'm saying? The house you know, praise for it or the office we've gotten for your house is way less than what you wanted, okay? That's thing one, okay? Thing two is you will still need about 200 grand to buy that church, okay? And, you know, the estate sale wasn't all that great or whatever. So, you know, you know, you just, you, again, you're going to need another $200,000. And that's, that's the, 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 bottom, the bottom line of it. So, when that happened, all right, Leonard, okay, fine, go. She then Rex. Rex, I need your help. I need your help. And I'm like, well, Rex, and you told Rex don't do shit. You told Rex don't do nothing. Now you need his help. Okay. So we then see what was going on. Jabari again went down to the uh, the news station to talk to Samantha. He was going to give her some evidence on Ella. Okay, I'm assuming he was going to let her hear the recording of Ella saying, or somebody saying to Ella, hey, you know, if you want to you handle him, don't say nothing or whatever. Because she kept putting his phone like he was going to play audio. But she gets called away like right before that happens. And it's Ella calling. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, something something came up. It's like a mayor issue or whatever. So I can't make it down there. You know what I'm saying? We have to reschedule. Mayor, Ella, girl, look. I'm going live with or without you. So which one do you want it to be? You then hear Rex say, mm, um, yeah, I'll do the interview instead of her. And she's like, oh, what? Mm, okay. Sit your ass down, Rex. Sit your ass down. So Rex just basically said, like, look, I won this contract or whatever to work on the casino or something more than that. Like, I wasn't, you know, giving anything. I, yes, I do know Ella or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? I won it fair and square. I, I was awarded it fair and square. We know that ain't true, but, but whatever. He like, anything else is rumors. Oh, but you have this rumor drug history. 
that you were a gangbanger, that you were all these bad things, whatever. I told you those are all rumors. I ain't, ain't got nothing to do with me. I am a re responsible, legal, uh, a company owning man. Okay, I'm a great citizen of these of these cypress streets. Okay, and it's all on the up and up. No, it's not. So we then see, she's like, well, what about, you know, Ella and this casino, her Christian support? It's like, well, they support her bringing the casino to the city. He's like, look, Christian folk like casino too. They do. Girl, they be just, like, just a gambling all up and through. And what about y'all romantic relationship? He's like, look, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? I'm, let, me, let me be honest. I'm like, oh, shit. It's no secret we have a child together. You can say that's no secret. She had been that last year or whatever. However... Yes, I love Ella. I've always loved Ella, okay? I, you know, but our time has passed, okay? I would be lucky to have a relationship with her. But unfortunately, I don't, okay? That is old news. We ain't nothing now, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not that lucky or whatever. You know, we just co-parent our son, and now we work on this one project. And that's it, okay? That's it. That's it. And then I'm like, okay, now the whole time we talking, we see Ella watching. We got real nervous now. And then also we had Malik, not Malik, Jabari watching. Jabari's pissed off because he feel like, you know what he just did? He just took all the credits for, he, no, no, not credit. He took Ella's side in this bull crap and I'm pissed off. That means that he probably knew what Ella had planned for me and my dead wife. And I'm like, Lord, he's just, so after the recording of the, of the show. And Rex is walking to his car. Malik pull up. I can't believe you, Rex. Yo, punk ass. Punk ass. <laughs> Y'all calling everybody old punk ass. But he just had, you know, I, you knew what Ella had planned. You didn't tell me. Like, man, look, she called me about it. I told her, no, I would not do it, okay? But I did not think that she would actually go through it. I did not think she would do that. But you know what didn't tell me? I just told you I didn't think she was going to do it, okay? That's what I said or whatever. He like, man, you know what? Your blood, no, pages of blood is on your hands, you know what I'm saying? She's changed, you know what I'm saying? You her little pussy boy or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't believe you. Like, man, this, well, shoot me then, you know? Shoot me, nigga. I'm like, I'm down, not ready. You don't want to get killed. She's like, you know what? You that even want the bullet, you know what I'm saying? Ella is, you know, you don't even see what she doing to you, you know what I'm saying? It's just stupid. And then he walks away. And, you know, Rex looks pissed because he felt like, you know, there's some truth to what Jabari was saying, how, you know, Ella be doing things and making him do things, he kind of make him look pussy now. And I'm like, well, you know, it is what it is. So he gets home, he pissed. He breaking glasses or whatever, throwing stuff in the sink. I'm like, why are you breaking stuff, bro? What you doing? And then Ella walk up in a little trench coat. I said, first of all, if he ain't see the trench coat, he kind of crazy. But he pulled his gun out. He was like, I lost everything. And she's like, no, you didn't. And she takes off her, her uh, trench coat and she has some sexual lingerie. And they start kissing and they do it because they nasty, okay? So, you know, I guess she was happy that, one, he went and did, did the show for her. But also, de he declared how much he loved her, but then had to de deny it because he knew it's what she wanted. And I'm like, I, 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 I guess so. So, we have to see what happens next week, people. So, that's my overview. Do not forget, please hit the like button. Damn it. Do it now, okay?